Uh, let's look at the, the existing a little bit more. So another step is any dashed lines that you bring in are going to come in in little segments like this. Uh, one thing I can do is run a join nearest on this to join across these gaps. So let me just uh, run our helpful command standard distance again and get an idea for how far apart these are. Okay, so they're about a foot apart. Um, so let's do a join nearest. I have it as a toolbar icon here, but it's also under edit. And I can say average endpoints together. What's max separation to join? I want to do two feet. Select objects all and enter. Let this go through. And just like that, we took this drawing that had all those dashed lines and we got solid contour lines from those. So I got solid contour lines here that I can now elevate. And let's do that. Let's run the command uh, elevate and I have some contour lines I want to assign elevations to so I'm going to do uh, multiple in series and let's start here and go down this slope okay beginning elevation let's say it's 978 going downhill okay updated seven polylines and you can see the program will highlight those uh, contour lines once they have elevation. Let's go over here and do the same thing. Let's go from here, down slope, and 978 again, going down. And I'll go over here. Just going through and assigning elevations to these contour lines uh, without having to digitize in and enter in each elevation. And let's say this is uh, 979. And then I could change uh, contour lines individually as well. So let's put this one, uh, elevate, set polyline to elevation, 978, and I'll click on this polyline, press enter, change one, enter again, enter for 978, and I want to change that elevation as well. Okay, I could go through and do that on this whole drawing. And once I did that, um, you can see this now has elevation 978. They're in two foot intervals, 976, 974, 972, going on down. We'll do one more side here. Elevate multiple in series. 980, going down. Okay, and let's see what those look like under view, 3D viewer window, select these objects, press enter, and you can see I got, got the beginnings here of some elevated line work from a PDF file. So I'd, w I'd want to go through, clean this up, make sure these are all elevated correctly on the existing, and then do the same thing for the design. Use the elevate commands to put elevations to the building pad, any design contours. I could elevate the road if I wanted to. And then the steps are going to be the same. Project checklist, going through, setting a boundary polyline, making surfaces off of what we've elevated, and then I could calculate volumes.